Hello Libra and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over your reading for September. Let's get started. Okay, Libra, you are starting off with the Eight of Cups. And with this, I feel like there's something that you are ready to walk away from. I do sense that you have a bit of frustration with whatever the situation is for you. I am seeing quite a few wand cards out here, which leads me to believe this is about your passions. Whether that's your working environment that you're ready to walk away from trying to start your own business or maybe you're experiencing some creative blocks at this time in your blockage position you have the temperance card so you're getting really frustrated and it may be because something's holding you back from walking away here in the month of september you're not really allowing things to unfold naturally you're not Trusting the process and allowing divine timing to happen. You're really pushing and it's frustrating you that things are not moving. In your foundation, you have the two of swords. So you're feeling trapped in this situation. But there is action that can be taken. And I feel like you may not be seeing the entire picture at the end of August, beginning of September. You may be seeing the problem but not the multiple solutions to the problem at this time in your recent past you have the devil card so something happened and started draining your energy making you feel controlled tied down something was very toxic and you're over it you're wanting to move on from this energy What's coming towards you is this Nine of Wands. So there is going to be an opportunity to put this Nine of Wands down. There's going to be an opportunity to set these burdens down and get out of the woods. Get some clarity on this. In your near future, you have the King of Swords. I feel like that is the clarity coming in. You're going to start seeing other ways of getting out of this situation or away from this person. If this is a person for you, you're going to gain that clarity, that insight, and that control over your emotions at this time and take a logical stance on moving forward and out of this situation. Inwardly, you have the Tower card. So I feel like you want to completely sever any relation you have to whatever this is. Whether that's a relationship or a working environment that you're in. Or maybe you're dealing with some kind of situation with a friend or a family member. But you're wanting to sever ties here. You're wanting to cut out what is no longer for you. And you want to move forward to something better. In your environment, you have the Four of Cups. So there is more opportunities. And there's more than one way to get out of this situation. To change up this energy. But I feel like you're so focused on just wanting to leave. That you don't have a, a strategy to get out. In your hopes and fears, you have the Seven of Swords. And I, I feel like you're feeling betrayed. And 
you're afraid that if you stay where you are, things are only going to get worse. Things are going to continue to be controlling, continue to be toxic, weighing heavily on you, and that you're going to continue with this back-breaking work, this soul-crushing situation that you're wanting to get out of. And in your outcome position, you have the Five of Wands. So again, this is telling you that there's more than one way to do this. It's asking that you slow down and get that bird's eye view of this situation. Really be honest with yourself and be open to new possibilities and these new opportunities to resolve this situation rather than the one-sided, I just want to leave. I feel like that's going to provide you the answers that you seek as well as the clarity. Get a plan together and try to control your emotions around this so you can get a logical way to get out of this and into something that's going to suit you a whole lot better. Next, we're going to clarify this. first card you get here is the ace of wands and I feel like you're seeking clarity seeking an opportunity to get out and get away because with this nine of swords here you have a lot of emotional baggage or a lot of overthinking that's weighing on you at this time there is help near and support if you need guidance or help. Do not be afraid to reach out to your support system. You have the key to getting out of this. The idea to move on is right. And cutting out what no longer serves you is correct. But you don't have to keep these burdens and have these sleepless nights and feel weighed down. And what the universe wants you to know with this three of wands is that there's no perfect time to get started on this. There's not going to be a set day or a set time or you're just going to wake up one morning and you're going to be excited and free and, and ready to move on and put this plan into action. So take action. And right now, you need to formulate the plan and start taking action on it. Be very clear-minded in this. Trust the process. This isn't something that's going to happen overnight, but I do see you leveling out and getting out of this situation. We're going to clarify one more time. So the first card here you get is I was, and this is going to be about you liberating yourself away from this situation, getting out of that toxic energy, getting out of this toxic situation or away from this conflict that is really weighing you down. There is time for a rebirth, a new start, a new journey, a new path, and you are going to be protected during this time of change. The next card you get is Lagoos. And I feel like there are spirit guides or angels trying to speak to you, maybe through your dreams. You may have dreams that just seem to come true, that you see visions in your dreams. And I feel like this is urging you and it's, it's guiding you to what path you need to take and where you need to go. 
I feel like you unconsciously know that it's time to go. You're filling a pool and a draw to get out of where you are. And this is reminding you to go with the flow. Trust the process. And move into this next phase. And remember, there's not going to be an absolute perfect time for this. Next, I want you to think of three yes or no questions. Pause the video if you need more time. If you cannot think of three yes or no questions, we'll put the three cards together at the end and do a general reading. First question is yes. Second question is yes. Third question is no. So for those of you who could not think of three yes or no questions, putting the six of pentacles, temperance, and the five of wands together, I feel like You've been giving a lot and you're feeling at this point drained that you need time to step away and be supported and heal, that you're needing to find balance, peace, and patience. There is something in your world that's not harmonious right now and you are wanting to rebalance it, but you're being urged to let go of conflicts, toxic energies, and anything that is draining your energy, anything that you feel like is coming off petty, salty, let it go. Thank you for sitting with me through this reading. If this reading resonated with you or you like this style reading, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. Thank you and have a beautiful day.